Hey, welcome in everybody. In this video, I am going to create a Soma Cube. So the Soma Cube is a project I like to use because it, it's a good way to learn how to constrain parts together. So we can make some parts, we can make some sub-assemblies of those parts. We can then take our sub-assemblies and make like a main assembly. And then at the end, we can get really fancy and we can animate these sub-assemblies, either taking them apart, putting them together, kind of animate them, you know, kind of going into place where they need to be. So let's do that. So to get started, I'm going to create a brand new project folder. Go up to projects here. I'm going to go to new. I want to make a new single user project. Click on next. For the project name, I'm just going to name this Soma Cube Project. Just something yet you'll know what it is. I'm gonna click on finish. It says it doesn't exist. Should we create it? Yeah, yo. I'm gonna go there, then I'm gonna click on done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new part. So I'm gonna use the uh, the um, English template. I'm gonna go to standard. I'm gonna click on create. So this part is gonna be real super easy. So I'm gonna go start 2D sketch. I'm just gonna click on the X, Y plane. I'm just gonna draw, make a cube. So I'm gonna go up to rectangle, two point center. Let's start right here in the green dot, the origin. And then I'm just gonna make a cube that's, or a rectangle that's one inch, tab, one inch, tab. All right, so I clicked enter, and then I'm gonna go to finish sketch. And I'm gonna extrude this. I'm gonna do it symmetrically by distance of one inch. I'm gonna hit okay. So there, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna to go to file, save. This is gonna be, so really just gonna be two different cubes. There's gonna be like a light color cube and a dark color cube. And you can make those whatever color you want. Kind of like a checkerboard. So let's see, I'm gonna call this, uh, we'll call this light cube. Save, I, I need to give this a color. So let me go up to, um, let's see. I'm gonna go to generic. I'm gonna hit the Autodesk material library. I don't know what material we can make this out of. Um, maybe acrylic. Like so, oh, I don't know if I want it transparent. I don't want it transparent, so I'm gonna give this a color. So this is gonna be my light color. I'm gonna go to Autodesk Material Library. So let's give this a color. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use pink here. Oh yeah, I like that. So there's my pink cube. Again, I'm gonna save this again. And then instead of making a whole nother one, which I mean, it's, it's pretty easy, you could do that, but I could go to file, save as, and I'm gonna call this dark cube. Save it. So my material is still gonna be acrylic, but I'm gonna make this one instead of pink. I'm gonna make this, I like black pink, because you're, you know, there, black pink is in your area. I'm gonna, I don't wanna use a black, I'm gonna use a smooth black, I believe there is here. Doesn't really look all that dark, but that's okay. That's cool. So I'm gonna just save this. So now I got a, a dark cube and a light cube. So that's really the, the two parts that we need. So now we can start creating our, our sub assemblies. All right, so the first sub assembly, I'm gonna file new, I'm gonna still might use the English template, but I'm gonna use the assembly and I'm gonna go to standard IAM here. 
So I'll, I'll show you how to do like one or two and then I'll kind of speed it up so you can do the rest maybe. So I'm gonna go to up here, I'm gonna go to place and I'm just gonna bring it, I'm gonna make the L shape piece first. I need to bring in a dark cube. I'm just gonna place it somewhere. I'm gonna right click, hit okay. So this first one I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click on this first piece and I'm gonna check on where you see grounded. I don't want that piece moving around on me. So you'll know it's grounded now. You see the little push pin. And it's also the, has a push pin on this dark cube part here. So then I'm gonna bring in my, one of my light cubes. And I'm gonna put one over here. Put another one over here. And so to constrain these, I'm gonna go to constrain. I'm going to go to mate, and then I'm going to use the mate solution here, this first one. So I'm just going to click on like this face of this cube, and then I want to smack it onto this face. So these two faces kind of just press up against each other. So then I'm going to hit apply, and then I need to align these two surfaces. So I'm going to click on this flush. I'm gonna click this surface, the surface, hit apply. Now you'll notice it can still move up and down. So I'm going to constrain this again, use the flush. I'm gonna click on the top surfaces here and then hit apply. So now I can't move this piece. It's, it is totally constrained up against that one. So then I'm just gonna kind of do this to the same the same way as of these other cubes here. So again, we're gonna make an L-shaped piece here. So I'm gonna go to Constrain. I'm going to Mate. I need, it doesn't really matter which side of this one I pick, but it needs to go up against this surface on this cube. Hit Apply. Now I can still move up and down and all around here. So I'm gonna go to Flush. I'm gonna click on this to top. Hold on, let me do that again. Something's been goofy on me. I'm gonna go to constrain, flush, this piece, this piece, apply. Then I'm gonna rotate over here because I want, oh, now I want to, I want to select this surface and this surface. So now those two are then I just need to bring in another black piece. So one easy way you can do it is just if you left click over here in the browser on the dark cube and then left click and hold it down and you can drag it over and just plop one of those in. And now I'm gonna constrain this uh, with the mate. So I need this side to this side. I like moving out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna flush the tops. Why does it do that? Anyway. Okay, and then I'm gonna full constrain flush the sides. One, two. There we go. So there's that piece is, is completed. That is a sub assembly number one. So I'm gonna go up to file. Save, I'm gonna call this, um, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this sub assembly. You can name it like L shape or one, two, three. I'm just gonna do that. It doesn't, it's not really descriptive, but there's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts, seven sub assemblies, I mean. So we can figure them out pretty easy. So I'm gonna hit save there. All right, so there's that one. All right, so the next sub assembly is like a T shape. So I'm gonna go up to new. I'm gonna go to standard assembly here. Hit the create. I'm gonna go to place. So I'm gonna bring in a, a light cube first. That's a, actually, that's the only one I need in this one. So I'm gonna right click it, hit okay. I'm gonna right click and ground this bad boy. 
then I'm going to bring in three of the dark ones. So one, two, three. We can strain these. So this one is kind of in the middle. And then these dark cubes go and have like a T-shape all the way around it. So I'm going to mate, click this side and one of these sides. Hit apply. I'm going to flush the sides. Hit apply. I'm going to flush the tops. Hit apply. Make sure you hit apply afterwards or they won't, they won't stick. Um, then I'm going to mate. It doesn't matter which one of those sides I pick, but I want it to get it on this side here. Apply. Now flush. One, two. One, two. I'm going to mate this one to this side. Hit apply. I'm going to um, flush the tops. Now this one may be a little tricky to get because I want to do it to the side there. So I'm going to go to flush. I'm going to try to like move over an edge here and just kind of hold my mouse on it. And so it picked that surface. If it, if it doesn't highlight the one you want, then just click the little down arrow and look for it. Kind of see the one light up that you want. But I want this one. And I want this one. I think those are going to be backwards. Yep, I need it to be this way. So hit apply. Because you can see the arrows are pointing in different directions. So I want it to be the mate one here. Do, do, do. All right, there we go with that. So we have that one. And that's going to be, save it as subassembly two. If I can get my mouse to do what I want there, too. All right, so moving on to the next one. File, new, standard. Create. All right, let's see. I'm going to bring in a dark one. Right click, hit OK. Right click, grounded. And I'm going to bring in three of the pink ones or the light ones. So I need this to be like one, two, three. So I'm going to constrain this. I'm going to constrain this side to one of these sides. Let me just do you while I'm at it. This one to this one. Um, this side goes to underneath the bottom. That one apply. Now I can go with my flushes. So I'm going to flush the top to this top. Top to this top, um, the two sides, and we flip around to the back. Let me flush this side to this side, and then I need under here. So this to this, and this to this. So there we go with that one. That's number three. It's like an elbow piece there. Um, let's see where we're at. We got those. All right, so the next one, I need a file, new, standard. It's gonna bring in two of each for this one. This is gonna be, um, let's do the light one. So one, Two, right click OK. I'm going to ground this piece. So, grounded. I'm going to bring in two of the dark ones. Just plop them anywhere. Right click hit OK. So this is going to be kind of like a, looks more like a lightning bolt. So, I'm going to constrain to the top. I'm going to flush the sides. 
and the sides so that that's stacked right on top. And then this one is going to go on the side of here. Do those two, these two sides. So it goes up, over, and then it's going to go back up. So this one is going to be on top there. We're going to flush the side, hit apply, flush the side, hit apply. So there's that one. That's going to be file. Look at this. File, save. That's going to be assembly. Did I, I didn't save the other one, did I? Assembly. This one is, I think it was assembly four. Let's save. Let me go back to this one. I did not save oh, this one. I need to go to file. Save. This is assembly three. Come on, three. Here we go. All right, so we got four of them now. All right, so this next one is gonna be file, new, standard. I'm gonna bring in a light piece. Right click, hit okay. I'm gonna right click again and ground it. We don't want it slipping away on us. I'm gonna bring in two of the Dark ones, one, two. This here is like a, a corner. So I'm gonna constrain the side to, let's go over here on this one. Just gonna click that side. And then we're gonna flush the sides, flush the tops. We're going to mate this side with this one here. Then flush the tops. And then we're gonna flush the two back sides over here. This one and this one. All right, so there's that. I'm going to go to File, Save. This is Assembly 5. I heard where this video is not three hours long. So file sub assemblies. There's that one. All right, now the challenging ones are coming up. So I'm gonna go to file, new, standard, create. Um, let's see. I'm gonna bring in. I need to bring in two of each. So start with a dark one. One. Two. I'm gonna ground one of these, so I'll ground this one. Ground it. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring in two of the light ones. Uh, it's gonna go up and then one over here. All right, so this one's, this piece is gonna, it's gonna come over, up, and towards us, which is, you're like, what? Anyway, so let's go to constrain. Mate, so we'll make these two surfaces and apply. I'm gonna flush the two sides, flush the tops, and then this piece is gonna sit on top of here. So I'm gonna just select any one of these, it'll flip it around for me. Clunk, and then flush the sides, flush these sides apply and then this piece is gonna come out over on wait I don't know what you did but I wasn't ready it's gonna this piece is gonna stick onto this side here so I'm going to make those apply flush the sides flush the tops all right there's that so you can see what that piece does. Um, this one I'm going to go to File, Save. We'll call this Subassembly 6. 
Oh, subassembly six. There. All right, so one more subassembly. I'm gonna go to file, um, new, standard, create. I'm gonna place, let's see, which one do I wanna start with? Let me start with the dark one. I need two of these. One, two, I'm gonna right click. So I'm gonna ground this piece, right click it. We're gonna ground it. Make sure it doesn't move. And I'm gonna bring in two of the light ones. Just plop them in anywhere out the way. So this piece is gonna start here. It's gonna come out with the light piece. So here and here. You flush the tops, flush the sides. Then it's gonna come up with the dark piece. So those I'm gonna flush sides, these sides. So it's not moving around. Then this piece is gonna wait, I wasn't ready for you. This piece is gonna come and stick on the side of this one. This comes over, up and towards us on this side. So I'm going to mate that, flush the tops and flush the sides. There we go. So there's that piece. All right, so that's our final piece right there. Black pink. All right, so I'll make go to file, save. This is going to be subassembly seven. All right, so we have our two cubes, light and the dark. We then took those two cubes and we made seven subassemblies. So those are kind of the, the puzzle pieces that we need. So in the next video, we'll just take these and we'll um, assemble our subassemblies to create like a, a perfect cube. And the cube is going to be every side of the cube is going to be like a like a checkerboard so it's going to be a light and a dark cube next to each other so we'll do that in the next video all right peace